explaining my overview of my university experience at Winchester University. Um, I'm going to talk about studying events management in um, talking about it in any context really, whether that's at degree level or whatever. For anyone looking to do event management, I'm just going to talk generally about how I found it uh, studying at a degree level because if you are considering studying event management in any context, I this could be helpful to hear a university experience and then you may be able to find others from different perspectives um, to help you. And yeah, just my experience of going to university, how I got to university, etc, etc. So yeah, I've written some notes about what I want to talk about in this video. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, so firstly, when, univers when I first started looking at university, not university, I didn't particularly want to go to university, I was never one that was like right I'm going to do this, I'm going to go to university, I'm going to study this and then that's going to get me this job, that's going to do it or I'm not going to go to university, I'm going to get this apprenticeship, I'm going to go to this job. I, just, I didn't know what I wanted to do to be quite honest, um, I studied quite a variety of uh, like quite a random mix of A-levels, well they did go together in the end but they weren't for any particular reason apart from the fact that I enjoyed doing them or I thought I, yeah, I thought I would enjoy them. So I did a BTEC in Performing Arts, um, A-level Media and A-level Sociology, yeah and as I said none of those were for any particular reason apart from that I enjoyed them, they weren't for, they weren't to get me into any particular course or job or anything. I sort of was toying with the idea of studying musical theatre further at the beginning. So like when I first went into year 12 I was like oh maybe but then decided against that for multiple reasons. Nothing, nothing major I just didn't particularly, yeah after a while I just didn't particularly want to um, and I wasn't that sold on going to do any further education so yeah um, I, I was sitting, I remember we had, yeah, we had all these career sessions to help you um, sort of decide what you want to do and we were looking at such a wide variety of different things I was sort of bombarded with information and I saw sort of like different universities and all the different courses that I could do with what I'd done my A-levels in um, and yeah none of them really stuck and I remember I was in our sixth form common room in must have been like year 12 year 13 because in in the Christmas of year 12 they were like right we need your decision by January like when you come back you need to have made a decision whether you're going to write a personal statement whether you're going to apply through Ucaster University or whether you're not because we need to get the ball rolling and get applications started etc so that we can start booking open days and different things and going and looking at your knees so yeah and I, sh I did a lot a lot of research and found some courses for event management or event and media management or uh, the variety uh, yeah all event management based courses which is not something that I'd ever thought that you could study at university I don't know why but I just hadn't have thought of it as something that you could go and academically study um so that yeah that sort of led led my drive to go and look at those courses because it was something that really interested me it was quite creative as opposed to academic because I'm not a particularly academic person um so yeah that sort of was the drive I found some leaflets for some courses and then I was like oh you can actually go and study this at university so that might be something depending on how yeah that that was going to be something that I would like to do so I went and looked on um I went and yeah, went and researched some different uni universities that had those courses available and I found some, booked onto some open days, ordered some prospectuses and thought this could potentially be it. Um, the first one I looked at was Lipper in Liverpool which I absolutely loved. Um, I liked, there wasn't, I looked at about nine universities, ten universities and all of them I would be happy to go to, I, I would be more than happy to go to. Like it wasn't, there was no university that came out like, oh, I'm never going there. Like some of them came off better than others, but that's just in my opinion and what I wanted from a university. Um, I was a very, very home girl. Like I was very much home orientated at the time. So that was a big thing, feeling at home and feeling comfortable where I was, which is obviously the difference between sort of the larger universities and the more space and the more campus universities. Was 
it, yeah, it depended on that, like, there were multiple factors to what would, for me, would feel comfortable and homely. So, yeah, and we were at lunch with my family, who live in Winchester, which is where I actually went to university, um, and they said, oh, why don't you have a look at Winchester Uni? They, I'm pretty sure they do an events course or something like that, a hospitality management course. So I had a look, and they did. So I booked myself onto an open day there and went back um, a couple of weeks later to look at the course and the course leader, Oog, who is amazing. Um, I've been taught by him for three years now and I can sing his praises and stuff, he's fantastic. But yeah, so we went and looked um, and he led the session and I just felt so at home. It didn't feel like I was sat in a massive lecture hall at a university that I'd never been to before, having a guest, like a lecture, being like, you can come and study here. It felt like I was just sitting in a room, having like having a chat. Like he was so inform, like not informal. He was very professional, but he made you feel at home and he made you feel welcome and he made you feel like it was specifically for you and like he'd answer all your questions. And there wasn't that many people in each of the course talks because we went back three times in the end to make sure when I found some other unis and I was trying to decide between my um, my first choice and my reserve. Um, yeah, so he, he just made you feel so welcome, which was a big thing for me. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Obviously, yeah, went back a couple of times, exactly the same reaction every time. And that was the same with three universities. And obviously you can, you can apply for five, but at the end of the day you have to choose two you have two you have to choose your first choice and your reserve so yeah we went to a lot of open days um most weekends we were at open days and considering that sort of few months prior i wasn't going to university this was quite a big step and it felt like we were getting somewhere with what i want actually wanted to do which was good so yeah the two universities that I chose in the end, which were very, very close, was Bournemouth University, BU. Um, not the Arch Uni, I looked there as well, which was lovely. I really, really enjoyed that as well. But chose Bournemouth Uni um, and Winchester. So Bournemouth was my reserve and Winchester was my first choice. And I actually ended up getting an unconditional from Winchester through their offer scheme. Um, so yeah, that was sort of that was the only put I really couldn't decide and then when I got that that sort of sold it for me so yeah I took the unconditional and put Winchester as my first and Bournemouth as my as my reserve but I was going to be happy with either one so yeah now we're gonna skip forward a bit um to sort of the first week at university we had a course so it will be different for every uni but from my experience and obviously I know that Winchester has changed the way they do this now as well I'm pretty sure our course is the same because at Winchester there's only about 40 max per year group so it's very personal and very small and they really do look after you and take care of every aspect of your learning whilst you're at Winchester um, so yeah the first week we had three sessions um, it was so we had the Monday the Tuesday and the Thursday and then a presentation on the Friday well I say a presentation like a fair it was more like an introductory getting you to work in groups getting everybody to sort of mingle out of the ones that they were either in the same block with that they found out or whatever it was a way to get everyone working with different groups if so that any everyone and every, anyone got to know other people um, so yeah that was fun and we did a variety of different tasks over the three days and then we had to put a pitch together um or selling selling a particular city or town as a holiday destination um that was my first week so we did venice um to have a wedding in venice so yeah we did that that was my first week yeah that was so we had four sessions so yeah there were the three sessions and then the friday um and i sort of knew as soon as that had started that i chose the right place there was a lot of yeah it was quite a not a 
quite a stressful week, a draining week. There was a lot going on. There was a lot to take in. Obviously, I never lived away from home like before. I'd never. I mean, in year thir before year 13, I'd never been on holiday without my parents before. I went on a ski trip in year 13, in the February of year 13. And that was the longest I'd ever spent away from my parents before. So it was quite a, quite a drastic change. So, yeah, there was a, it was a quite a draining week. But after that week, I wanted to go back, which was sort of a telltale sign for me. I wasn't like, oh, my God, thank God it's the weekend. I was like, oh, I was like, we'll go back on Monday and we're doing this. And I just remember being really excited. And there was so much to do that, yeah, time sort of slipped away from me. And it wasn't. I know obviously this is personal to everybody and some people do did really struggle in that first week and um, we had a couple that yeah really found it hard which is obviously personal experience but I had the opposite of that I wanted to go back and I wanted to go and do all this and I joined societies which is my number one tip for going to university I in my personal opinion yeah if when you go to university join a society, go to Freshers' Fair, join some societies, like, get in, get, yeah, build your social side around that as well, because that's just as important, that is just as important, because it's all very well, yes, you're there to do a degree, but you're also there to build life skills and have a life outside of that as well, so make sure that does factor into it as well, so, yeah. I joined multiple societies. I joined Performing Arts Winchester, which was a drama, musical, drama, dance, singing, musical theatre sort of group. They had sessions every week, and I did two shows with them in the end. I did Chorus Line in my second year, and I did History Boys in my third year. Um, yeah, and I would say that sort of made my years doing those shows and being a part of that society because there was so much going on all the time. There was never sort of there was never a dull moment. Someone was always putting on something, or there was always a session for this, a session for that that you could get involved with. Or they were doing this, they were doing this social, they were going here. And I also joined trampolining society, which was a sports society. Um, I, I'm not going to say that I joined it because I loved trampolining. That's not the answer. I do, I enjoyed trampolining, that's why I went for it, but I wanted to join a sports society anyway because they always seemed so much fun, I would go to BOP, which was our sort of Wednesday social night, um, at our student union and stuff like that and like, I wanted to be able to get involved with that and I'd seen an advert and I liked trampolining but I'd never, like, I'd only done it occasionally, I'd never really done it seriously but I was, and they were said for all abilities or like anything and they had an open session so I went. And I joined and it was one of the best decisions because I did it for two years and I absolutely loved it. Um, they, they were such a social society. I went to Croatia with them on sports tour. I went to BOP with them most weeks. Like it was just really fun to be a part of them. Some of my closest friends are from that society. And yeah, I. so if you take anything away from this ramble, which has been another like three minutes, <laughs> join a society if you go to uni. Um, Obviously they're not for everybody, but just try it. There will be a society that you, there are so many societies like this. At my uni there was a Harry Potter society. There was all sorts, all sorts. And obviously the bigger the uni, the more societies there'll be. So yeah, something to take into consideration. Um, but yeah, and I, I could keep babbling on about how much I loved my time at university, but I'm, gonna talk more specifically so at university you can do something called a sandwich course where you take a year out to work in industry which is such an amazing opportunity um but at winchester university they do have sandwich courses but with the events course they offer a six month five six month placement industry professional placement instead of a dissertation it's an extended research project um instead of your so it's the same credits and works out exactly the same as a dissertation so you do a placement two days a week and then you write a reflection on that placement and um, that's what i chose to do and i get i think that was 
one of yeah it it really put it into perspective for me because i was going out and working two days a week in industry professional working as an event manager well an event assistant but i was working within a company doing exactly what i was being taught and trained to do which just put it all into perspective for me so if there are if you're looking at courses and your one has a sandwich course or one doesn't and looking at consider doing a placement year or going and doing a study abroad or whatever because you will gain so much experience from it and it will just yeah it will teach you so much about yourself that you didn't even know possible so yeah and I think I'm gonna end the video there it's 16 minutes there was a lot more I could say but I'm probably gonna do a part two when I can actually think about some more stuff to put but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this um I know I don't know how much information you'll actually get from this it's sort of been a bit jumbled but yeah I'm gonna edit this bit up but yeah yes yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed it um there is a lot more I could have said and I'll probably do a part two but we're gonna watch this back see what people want and then we'll go with it so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed um make sure to subscribe and give it a like if you liked it that's really cheesy and I hate doing that but we'll get it over with um I'll put all my links down below and yeah